Hey, hi, Peter Watts Retrospect. How you doing? Today we're going to talk about my newly acquired um, Marathon watch. Uh, this is the TSAR. And I kind of want to show you how this thing looms up. This uh, watch does not have typical loom. This has got tritium, tritium tubes. As you can see, the 12 is orange and the other uh, numbers, the other indices are all green. Um, this is sort of still in the light, but you can see how it glows. Uh, and the hands as well have these glass tubes on them that will glow constantly. Uh, we're going to back out here, but during the daytime, uh, it does not look like this. It, this looks like a normal watch, and it's not until you really get it into the um, into daylight that you really find um, how this thing glows. And let me get back to some light here, and we'll take a closer look at what we got. Again, this is the Marathon 41 millimeter TSAR in Arctic White. Uh, this watch is uh, probably more famous as the GSAR, which is Government Search and Rescue. This is the TSAR, uh, the T standing for the tritium. Now the GSAR is the same way, it's got the same tubes, uh, but the only difference, well, the main difference uh, between the two watches is that the TSAR is a quartz movement, as opposed to the GSAR, which has got the Solita 200 automatic movement. Um, other than that, the cases and everything are very, very similar. Uh, there's a little bit of a difference in the chapter ring in the second hand, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But this is, and again, this comes in uh, various sizes. This is the 41. Uh, they also make this in a 46, which they call the Jumbo. And they also make it in a smaller 36. Um, this one here, they, we say 41, and, and that's really the bezel because you can see the bezel overhangs over the uh, case. The case is closer to a 39, um, but the, the 41 is, is the bezel. Uh, this bezel, as you can see, is very thick. This thing is like five to six millimeters thick as far as, you know, the height of it. And this watch is all about function over form. Uh, these were designed, uh, you know, for military issue and, you know, and for, um, uh, search and rescue. So this watch is used for, you know, with divers that have diving gloves on. So the whole idea of that big thick bezel is is for the grip, is that even with diving gloves on it, you can grip this. Um, short little history about the company, uh, Marathon. Um, it's a Canadian company. Uh, it's still family owned. It's owned by the, uh, the Wynn family. It's spelled W-E-I-N. I've heard it pronounced a little bit different different by different people, but uh, looking at their own video, sounds like they're, they're calling it the uh, Wynn family. And it is now, owned, it, the vice president is the grandson. He's pretty much the spokesman of the company. His name is uh, Mitchell. And the uh, the son of the original uh, founder, the original founder was uh, Morris Wynn. And his son, uh, Leon, is still the president of the company. But now it's his son, uh, Mitchell, that is uh, doing most of the, the spokesman for it. It's, it's, and uh, is a, again, still a family owned company, which nowadays with some of these older watch companies, you know, through the quartz crisis of years ago, a lot of these companies, you know, went out of business and have been um, reestablished, but this company has been uh, family owned, uh, you know, ever since their inception. So that's a, that's a great feature to know. Um, again, now this is a TSAR and this has got the quartz movement, as you can see the way it ticks. The GSARs are all the Solita 200 now, um, you know, automatic movement. And they're a couple of hundred dollars more typically. Um, but to me, I kind of wanted a grab and go watch. So kind of like the idea of uh, just having a quartz watch. It's always, always running. So um, that, that's what I went with. Um, the loom, this, this loom compared to all my other watches, just because of longevity, is it puts them all to shame. Uh, you know, we all, most of our watches are all loomed and... You know, some are better than others, but none of them last. None of them last for real long. Um, personally, I'm going to come out of the closet and admit that I like to wear a watch when I sleep. I uh, My eyesight's not the best, so when I, you know, we get up in the middle of the, the night or early morning, I rather than looking across the room at a digital clock radio I have, I really like to just look at my wrist and be able to tell what time it is. And this watch fills that bill as well as any watch I have because it doesn't doesn't die. Um, it's not as bright as other loomed watches, at least when you, you know, when you first loom them. But as you know, sometimes within 10 minutes, that loom is uh, dissipating quite a bit where this stays 
uh, stays forever. It has a 25 year shelf life. Apparently, um, this tritium gas will uh, illuminate for up to 25 years. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, again, this is the, the, the 41 mil. Let's take a look at it. Um, this is um, about 48 millimeters uh, ed, uh, tip to tip. It is 14 millimeters thick, and we'll talk a little more about that. I mean, it's obviously a thick watch. I mean, just look at the size of that bezel. Um, this watch is all about function over form. Uh, this being used by search and rescue divers and such. Uh, it is designed to be able to use uh, easily with like diving gloves on and, um, you know, Canadian company. So <laughs> divers are in cold water up there for sure. But um, this watch ever since about 1941, uh, Marathon has been issuing military watches to various uh, countries. They started uh, supplying um, England with uh, military watches, which included Canada and uh, the U.S. government um, has, has uh, had them make watches for them. And this is uh, used throughout the throughout the world with uh, different militaries. And so a lot of uh, Army, Navy, Marine type uh, men uh, have these watches and they are just, a, you know, very functional, you know, that's what, it, like I said, it's designed for function. And yet, I'll tell you, it's it's actually, you know, you wear this for a while, you would actually be quite uh, amazed at how comfortable this thing is. Um, this bezel is one of the best bezels I have. It is not only can you grab it easily, obviously, because of th the thickness of it, but just listen to this, it's, it's a very, very nice bezel, moves like butter, very obviously easy to grip and it moves like butter there's a tick of back play i find in it but not really very much nothing that really bothers me um and the visibility of the dial you know with the white dial um if you look at it you can see the numbers going from 1 to 12 uh and then also it continues in, uh, inwardly with the 13 to 24 being a military watch of course with the 24 hour time um it has a date there in between the four and five, which is a, a great place to put it. You know, either that or I, I got some watches where it's down at the six o'clock and that keeps the watch looking symmetric. But putting it putting it between the four and five, you know, you don't it doesn't replace any of the numbers or anything. And it's got the white dial. Uh, the date wheel is matched to the dot, you know, to the, the, the watch dial. So that's a really nice feature. Uh, this is a 300 meter diver. Um, it is ISO certified which means it's not only, which doesn't only uh, mean it's, it's it's certified for the diving uh, thousand feet that they talk about. Uh, it also has uh, specs for, um, you know, anti-shock, um, anti-magnetism, and even like low light visibility. So that ISO rating is actually a very nice, very nice uh, feature to have on any dive watch. Um, the back of the watch has got a lot of engraving that because it is military issue to a lot of countries and militaries throughout the world, it has all sorts of different uh, like specs, mil spec codes and stuff in the back. Just the way they word it, it says watch, wrist, dive, 30 ATM. It is, this sounds like a military language, should we say. And as you can see on the back, it says Swiss made three jewel high torque quartz movement. And the fact that it's it's a high torque movement to compensate for the extra weight on the hands because there's actually tritium tubes on the hands themselves. Um, and let's, again, let's take a look, little closer look at that where you can see, now if you notice the opening shot, the, the tube at 12 is orange. And what's nice about that is that's the only orange one. So your orientation of where the, uh, where the dial is, the orientation of it is, you know, it never changes that regardless of where you have the bezel turn, you always know where the 12 o'clock position is when you're looking at this in the dark, that all the other tubes are in a, uh, in a, in a green you. And so that's, it's, it's, it's really neat. It really is neat. And again, it just stays illuminated forever. And that's beauty. And again, door in normal daylight, you don't really notice it. And it's when you turn out the lights and you start looking at it and your eyes adjust, you know, as your eyes adjust to night vision, this thing, you know, takes, you know, everything is illuminated and it stays that way all night. Um, now, one of the differences between this watch, the T-SAR, compared to the G-SAR, now the G-SAR stands for Government Search and Rescue, while this is the T-SAR, which stands for Tritium Search and Rescue. Uh, the difference is, is that the T-SAR is a quartz movement as opposed to the, uh, the you know, the automatic movement. 
Um, and it, one of the other uh, differences, well, really only other two differences between the two watches is the fact that this second hand has got um, a typical loom, what they call Mariglow, at the tip of the second hand, while the GSAR actually has an additional tube that will not lose its loom at the, the very tip of the second hand. Um, and then also the chapter ring on the GSAR, um, each second is actually broken into like a quarter seconds. Um, so, you know, so there's like, you know, four or five hash marks between each second. So it's a little more cluttered, to be honest with you. Um, while this has just got a, a, a mark for um, each second. And, you know, I kind of like that. Um, the um, bezel uh, insert, it, it, there seems to be a little confusion as to what this metal, this uh, bezel insert's made of. Uh, I can't find anything on their website, and I've watched various videos, and no one seems to know what it is, but it seems to be like a coated metal that seems very durable. Um, but if anybody knows, <laughs> it's be, you know, let, let me know in the comments as to exactly what the uh, insert is. But it's uh, very legible. Uh, the only thing that's loomed on it is the triangle. And that is, again, typical loom. So that and the second hand tip will uh, dissipate after you know, a fairly short time. But again, the indices stay loomed forever. And that's just a, just a beautiful thing. Um, I'm going to come out of the closet now and say that I like to wear a watch at night. Um, and this thing here stays loomed where any other watch that I wear is, you know, it dissipates after a couple hours at the most. And, uh, you know, I don't have the greatest vision. And instead of looking across the room at a digital clock radio I have, I just really like to look at my wrist and be able to see the time relatively quickly. Um, looking at it again, again, this is a, you know, 48 millimeter, it's 48 millimeter tip to tip on this one. Again, this is the 41 mil wide watch. Um, it's got the 20 millimeter strap. So, you, you know, you can put all sorts of different straps on it, which is a beauty. Um, and if you look at, look at that, um, uh, uh, crown, the crown has got some very unique knurling. And again, it's all about, this is all about function over form, this watch. So it's all about being able to use this watch and utilize the crown and the bezel like with diving gloves on since this is a search and rescue um, watch. But the one thing I find out I find about this watch is just how how well it really wears. It only weighs 112 grams. And with this rubber strap, you would think, at least looking at it, you would think it would be kind of top heavy. But uh, it just fits very comfortably. And it doesn't feel... Uh, top heavy at all you sure it sure looks it like it would be but if you can tell how this strap which is very nice very nice quality strap that it comes with uh is kind of thick so i don't know if that just makes it more balanced but this thing does not feel top heavy when you wear it and, and even though it obviously looks thick because hey it is thick just you just don't get that sensation that it's as thick as as it really is and that's another uh, kind of surprise uh, that i found with this watch wearing it for the, like the last four or five days straight through every day at work how comfortable it really was. This is actually quite a comfortable watch to wear. And, and then along with this uh, functionality, the bezel's so easy to use, the dial's very easy to read. Um, one thing you'll notice, you'll see the nuclear emblem on here, and that is, I guess, basically regulations because there is a slight uh, radioactivity to this tritium gas that's in these these uh, tubes. So that's, that's, that's kind of neat kind of a conversation piece right there. But this here, um, if you're at all thinking of, of, of this watch, you know, if, if you looked at them, uh, this one being a 41, it does, I'm telling you, it fits smaller. If, and, and again, it visually is wide, but it does fits smaller than it's 41. Now they make this jumbo one in 46. So I don't know how exactly that would fit, but I have a feeling that probably fits smaller than the number would indicate if it's anything like this. But this one right in the middle of between the 36 and the 46, I find would you know probably fit most people's wrists quite well. Um, for bigger wrists, one nice thing that Marathon does is they actually supply a different uh, strap for you for the, for the buckle side. They give you a whole other um, set here where you can take off that buckle side strap and put this longer one on there. It doesn't come with the... Um, they don't, it doesn't come with the uh, the buckle. You have to remove it from the other strap and put it on there. But I thought that's a pretty neat uh, pretty neat idea. They include uh, extra pins and everything. So very, very nice presentation from uh, Marathon, I find. And um, so this, you know, if you have like an eight-inch wrist, you could change that. You know, you could change this strap here 
And, uh, but as it is on my seven inch wrist, and we'll put it on here in a second, it fits, fits quite well. Uh, it has like eight holes. Um, if mine, if sizes, right, mine goes into like that fourth hole. So there's very little overhang of the strap. It's not like too long sticking out. So that's another nice thing about it. But let's put this on real quick and, um, see what we got, um, to take off. I have Zodiac on here. So get that thing off and put this on. And you might be surprised, it kind of does not look as big as you would think being a 41. And of course, with the 14 millimeter thick spec, um, I find this fits. Let me get, can maybe come a little wider, the wider here so you can see it. But yeah, check this out. This thing fits me. Like I said, I've worn it, worn it for the last uh, for the last four days and it really fits really comfortably. And you don't you don't get the sensation that you're walking around with a 14 millimeter watch. Not at all. I mean, it just fits super. And like I said, it just doesn't fit top heavy. It appears it would be top heavy, but this strap is a really high quality and it's nice and thick. So I think that kind of helps balance it out. But Marathon TSAR and Arctic White, I would highly recommend this watch. Um, just the construction on it. It's very nice. It's, it's fully brushed. So, you know, it's, it's not a scratch magnet. There's really no polished uh, parts of this watch being, you know, fully brushed. Uh, the bezel is just really, really nice. I mean, it just, it, 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 again, the bezel on this, the grip on it and everything is just so nice. And it's one of the nicest features. And again, the fact that this um, stays illuminated all night is uh, one of the biggest uh, features that I love about it. So, but anyway, if you are at all thinking of one of these watches, uh, don't hesitate. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised on how it fits, how comfortable it is. And it's more wearable than you would ever think for being, you know, a big military watch. So go for it is what I would say. But anyway, hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. This is Peter, Watch Retrospect. If you got any questions, uh, please leave them before, uh, below or any comments. If I uh, know the answers, be glad to get back to you. But hey, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it so much.